Hi everybody, my name is Liz and I am with Zaina Lane Crafted. Um, I've been working on some, some little books today uh, with paper, simple, tiny. Thank you so much for Pam at the Paper Outpost for the ideas. And she's pretty fabulous, I just love her. Um, if you haven't watched her, please. Uh, go on YouTube and and take a look again. She's at the paper outpost and I wanted to go Over the fact that you can find some pretty cool stuff at the dollar store for your supplies You don't have to go to get the expensive stuff at Michael's or other, you know craft places like Joann's and, and things like that um, The first things that I found were some tags uh, they're just little chalkboard tags. Um, they had round ones with little strings and they had the regular tag um, sized ones. Six to a pack. Um, you can embellish them however you'd like. You can write on them with the, with the paint pens or chalk or what, whatever and seal them up. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use them for yet, but we'll see what happens. I don't know. I like using economical things and don't forget you can use your mailers and return envelopes and things like that uh, to to make your crafts with um, i found some um, index cards these are the, these are the larger ones the uh, four by six they are the white ruled they're plain on the back um, haven't opened these yet so Let's take a look and see how sturdy they are. Not exactly sure, but we'll take a look here. <laughs> if I can get into the package, that would be nice, right? Um, so a little background, again, for me. Um, oh, those are, this is a heavier weight card, but it, it feels a little bit thin. Um, if I was going to use this for, for something like, you know, a journal card, I may, I may cover it with a piece of card stock or something. It's not as thick as an actual card stock would be. Um, it's kind of between a card stock and a copy paper. Um, so they are a little bit flimsy, um, but perfect for uh, what I'll be using them for, either decorate them for a journal card or, you know, cut them down and, and put them on the back of, of, you know, like a tag or something. So if you had a, you had a tag, maybe you wanted some lines on the back, you could do that, you could just cut it down. Um, use them for just about everything. So that was a good find. And then I also found some really cute stickers. Um, these ones have some birds and butterflies. Some of them are a little 3D. Some of them have some, some bling on them. So those will be fun to use. I also found these really pretty colors. Um, Again, I found all these at the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. Um, check your Dollar Dollar Tree, see what they have in stock. They may have different ones. Um, these will be way fun. Um, I got this mainly because I really love this little bicycle with the little pansies in the basket. How adorable is that? Totally cute. So we'll see what we can come up with. For, uh, decorating something soon I hope and then okay I don't know about you guys but I love llamas I love llamas I have little stuffed llamas and pictures of llamas and I like lizards as well um, but these were too cute to to leave them at the store I had to get these no idea at all what I'm gonna do with these so <laughs> I'll, I'll see what we can come up with. Um, who knows, maybe I'll have to do a llama themed journal. I don't know. I do junk journals. Um, I do the ephemera. Um, 
little mini journals, that type of thing. And then I found some bling because who doesn't like border bling? These ones were in pink with the little pearls. They had them in white and they had them in the blue. I just thought these were so pretty. I'm hoping that they stick and maybe I can just use little sections of them. Um, maybe I can use little individual clusters, but just have fun with, with what you have. You don't have to have a lot of stuff to create. The point is, oh yeah, mm -hmm, bad me. I did not retract my thing. Always remember, use it, retract it, set it aside. Safety first, people, safety first. Um, but these are the, the things that I found. And I found some really cute other, you know, stickers and, and things. Um, pencils, I got some, some colored pencils. There was four in a pack. Let's see, there was the purple, there is a blue, a pink, and a green. And these are colored pencils. I don't know if you can see, if I can get it to focus, who knows? There we go, all right. Um, but it has a sharpener, so when you click your end, it comes out dull. And the thing that looks like the eraser is actually the sharpener. It pulls out of the end, and see the little hole? You can use it to sharpen with. So just a little sharpen, just a little bit. I probably should have put more out for it to sharpen, but I did sharpen my purple one and they they write pretty good too. I, I, I'm kind of liking them. And so I thought, why not? These are fun, make notes, draw lines, what, what have you. And um, something Something different. I like the different. I like to have fun with things. So, um, that's pretty much what I got from the dollar store. Um, I got these yesterday. And how about we use something here and get everything out of the way. Sorry. Apologize. I'm not prepared. Let's use a round one. Round ones are pretty. Let's see. Get this opened here. And I'm not sure about my sound on this. Um, leave me a comment down below if uh, I haven't plugged in my microphone. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I'm close enough to the phone. So, um, but yeah, these, these are, let me find my ruler here. Old school. Remember, do you guys remember having these in, in, in school with the, the wooden ones with the metal thing in them? Um, I haven't seen them around lately. Usually I've been finding, you know, the the plastic ones. But I really like this one. This one's been through a lot with me. So anyway, these are, let's see, about two, three and a half inches. So that's a good size for a tag. And those would tuck nicely into a pocket of a journal or something. So let's let's open these and see what we can just create a little something here real quick. Why not? And hopefully you guys are having a good day. And you know, here today, it's springtime. I'm in Utah and 
Springtime in Utah, you can have anything. Yesterday it was fairly nice. Today it's been snowing with rain. That's no fun. Um, but we need it for sure. Let's do, you know what? Let's do this one that says wishes. See how pretty that is? It has a little butterfly on it. And we're just going to take that. And this is pretty sticky on the back, but you know what? I'm going to use uh, my glue stick. And I love this one. It's a Scotch Create permanent glue stick for multi purpose. And just to make sure that it sticks down okay, I'm just going to run it across because I want it to make sure and stay in place. So, I think we're just going to place this right here. And that's a really good start. Nice and pretty. And then I've got thinking maybe some, maybe a little piece of lace or something. Let's see what I've got in my little box here. We've got some, some scraps that I threw in a little box. So maybe a little, oh no, it's too small. Let's see. I can do Oh, maybe we can just go ahead and make a little cluster of something. That would be cute. I like how it's layered. But it doesn't really pop for the color, does it? Maybe the gold instead. Oh, you know what? Okay. Let's do this. Am I still in frame? Okay, I am. I'm just going to take a little cut of that. And then... We're just going to layer it up. Yep, that's what we're going to do right there. Just going to layer it up. That'd be cute. And then we'll just put a little, a little bling on it, I think. Let me see if I can find a little bling. Let's let's glue these down first. All right. In my little container here, um, I got these on Amazon or something. Little little bottles. Um, I've been using this one forever. I've had to reopen the hole a few times. Uh, what I have in here is just a a neutral pH adhesive um, PVA glue. Um, similar to, oh no, I'm really bummed, but I'm almost out of my art glitter glue. I love this. Lost my little thing, so I just keep a paper clip in it so it doesn't clog up. Um, but you can use tacky glue. You can use your, your like, glue stick for the paper parts. Glue stick's not going to stick your ribbon very well, so you may want to try something more of a wet white glue. Um, you can also use a Fabrifix or a Fabri-Tac. Um, this is really nice, especially um, if you're got, oh, sorry, out of the frame. Uh, lots of, of things, but this one's a little pricey. So I try to use that one just when I need. But I like this this neutral pH um, PVA glue, um, it works really well. Um, I haven't had any problems with it, not sticking or coming apart or anything like that. So, 
Just want to put down a little bit of glue here. Don't need very much, really. And I'm just going to layer this up. That's a little bit much. I'll spread it out just a little bit. And then the best tool you have is your finger. So I use it all the time. And then I can add a little more there to stick it down. There we go. And then just a tad more right on top. And we'll stick this one down. I'm going to do that one at a little bit of an angle. And then let me see if I've got some bling over here. Bear with me while I go look in my supplies. Oh, I do. Okay. Let's grab. Let's grab a little thing of bling. Alright, now we got it. I should have had some options out on my desk before, but that's okay. You never know what you're going to create, and just go for it. See, see what you can do. See what comes to mind. Um, do I want to do yellow? No. Let's do... Should we do the green? Oh, I kind of like the green. Let's do the green. I like the green. Or a flower. Could do a flower. That's not enough contrast. I have a white one. Oh, I like that. Okay. Let's do the white one. We're going to do that one. I'll put these away here. All right. And for this one, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac. We don't need a whole lot of this one. Um, this one is really good for paper to paper, paper to fabric, fabric to fabric. Give it a second. I'll just push that down here. And that'll dry. So then this is what we just created. And once this is all dry, maybe it needs a little something else. I don't know. It has wishes on it. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, so the back is, we can put paper on it. Uh, we can leave it as is. Um, but yeah, there's one. That's really cute. So let's set that aside to dry. We'll just put it over there. And can do another one if you'd like. We have, um, let's do something with have a ton of other stickers. Um, I put them in this bin. It's just from the dollar store. Again, this way I can go through them. I can find ones that I like. Throw kind of around like confetti. Just be happy. Let's see. Let's do. We could do. Oh, that's pretty. Let's do. We can do that, maybe. Hmm. I'm just kind of thinking what I have that. Would be nice. I do. I do really like that though. Let's see. Maybe 
I've got some words that would around like confetti and that one's too big Let's see here there we go we could do Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness with, no, not feeling it yet. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find. Oh, oh, he's cute. I found a little bird. He's really cute. Got some other stuff in here. Hmm. We could do a cactus. I kind of like the little, kind of like the little bird. Or should we put one of our other 3D ones on there? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So many choices. My goodness. Do you guys have this problem where you can't can't decide? I have too many choices. So, all right. Let's figure something out with that. That's a good one. Okay. So, let's do Mr. Bird here. And let's see what I've got in my scrap bin. Got a little scrap bin here. A little bin of scraps. And we have Okay, we're just gonna rip this down. Creating on the fly here. You never know what you're gonna come up with. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'll put my fabric fix away. Let's ink it up. I'm going to use Vintage Photo, and I just use a dauber, and we're just going to ink that up real quick here. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. And then I really like this portion here, so I'm just going to, I'm going to rip that out too. Why not? Give it a little more depth. Give it some character. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And come on, Liz. There we go. Let's ink that one up too. And and then, oh yeah, okay. So let's do this. And then, I really like this little bird. Oh, that would be super cute. 
Yep, that would be super cute. Super cute. Okay. So we're going to do that. However, I think before I put those down, let's stick these. Yep, that did work. And I actually think I'm going to put a stamp on that. What I do, there it is. One work. I'm thinking I like that one. Okay, but let's use let's use for the stamp. I want to make it stand out a little bit more, so I'm going to use the black soot. If I can get the lid off, there you go. All right, so let's just. That's good. And I'm just going to stamp it down here. Oh, I like that. Okay. Fabulous. And Again, let me grab a little piece of lace or something because I think that would be sweet behind it. And then a little birdie right on top. Kind of like that. Maybe not the lace, maybe maybe the fabric. Oh, I kind of like the fabric better. All right, so. Let's fray up my edges. All right. Okay. Kind of wanted that little yellow one. Maybe not. Maybe the grays. Yep, I like the grays. Okay. Now, when using this, just make sure it's not too thick. And again, I use my finger tool a lot. I like it. So we're going to stick that there. And then this one, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the outside. You don't need too much glue. If you put too much glue, it could warp your paper. You'll get ripples or you'll get bleed through. Let's just flatten that down a little bit. And I made a mess with my glue, my wipes. There we go. Okay. Clean that up there, and that up. Okay. Once it dries, you shouldn't have any 
problem with that. And I think, again, I'm just going to put my little birdie up here because he's cute. Um, maybe over here. I kind of like him right there. We're just going to cover up part of that. That's okay. You never know. Oh, watch me fight to get these off. These are... Oh, there we go. I got it. Yay. Yay, I got it. Okay. Put my birdie right there. He's pretty sticky. I don't think I need to add any glue to him. And then I feel like I need something right there. Just a little, a little something. How about, let's see what we've got in here. We've got little things in here that might be good. But just a little, sure, why not? That's pretty cool. No. I like that one. Or maybe I have a number. A number would be good. Let's see if we can find a number. Let's see if I have any numbers available right here somewhere. Mm. That one's too big. Yeah, it's a little big. Just need a smaller number. That's all. Just a little number. Or, no. Still like that one. Oh, here we go. Nope. I still like that one. I'm going to probably have to go with that one. I keep coming back to it. Not so bad. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, I've got one that says special delivery. I actually kind of like that. Let's do that one. Let me just put this over here. All right. And then with this one, let me grab my glue. I'm just gonna put a little glue on it. And we're gonna stick it right there. Nice. And that one's done too. All right. So we've made two and we've gone through what I got at the dollar store. And it's easy. Easy peasy. Um, don't be afraid to create things. Just let your imagination run wild and take your time and just play. Have fun. That's what art is for. Um, it's expression. There are no rules. And um, you can find me, obviously, on YouTube. Um, you can also at the uh, Zayna Lane Crafted. You can find me on um, Instagram at uh, Zayna Lane 17. You, I'm on TikTok at Zayna Lane. And then I also have an Etsy store, um, and that is Zayna Lane Crafted at Etsy. Um, if you liked what you've seen today, please like and subscribe. Hit those buttons down below. You can get notifications of new um, videos um, that will be coming soon. And we've had 
I've had a lot of fun making a couple things with you today. And just keep in mind that more, more is to come. Like I said, no rules. Get out there. Create something cute. And these, like I said, can just be tucked into a journal. This is still, this is one I have on the go. Um, but I've got a little tuck. And there's a little, a little side tuck. And they can just go in there. Or they can go in like a corner tuck. Or something else. Let's see. Oh, I have this one. That have this one. They can just go in there. And a little place for somebody to, to explore. So play around with it. See what you can create. Um, I'm, please leave a comment down below if you've got um, suggestions, questions, comments. Um, you're welcome to put your thoughts down. And um, maybe we'll take a look at creating something like this next time. A little a pocket tuck or a belly band or something like that. So, But thank you so much for stopping by today and crafting with me. And um, you guys have a great day. And just go out there and create something fun. Have a great day. Bye, guys.